for engineering services general studies video lectures visit www.isgeneralstudies.com for mechanical engineering video lectures and question and answers discussion visit www.gatemec.com question number 6 meaning of carbon footprint is described by the amount of a carbon dioxide released to the atmosphere as a result of the activities of a particular individual organization or community b greenhouse gases emitted by industries contributing to global warming c carbon emissions released by the burning of jet fuel d increase in carbon content of the atmosphere due to felling of trees here they are asking what is carbon footprint and we have discussed what is ecological footprint in our articles the article environment concepts we have discussed this concept and the carbon footprint concept is <coughs> can be related to the ecological footprint concept because the footprint idea remains the same what is footprint footprint is the impact of the particular entity regarding uh, regarding the this uh, left hand side word if it is ecological footprint it uh, denotes the impact of the entity on the environment environment resources if it is carbon it uh, denotes the impact of entity on the carbon emissions what is this entity entity can be an individual or a group or any process also any process or project or any industrial process like that on entity how much this entity having impact on the carbon dioxide emissions determine its carbon footprint so here the option a tells that carbon dioxide released to the atmosphere as result of the activities of a particular individual organization or community so the answer is option a what about option b it tells that greenhouse gases emitted by industries but the footprint is not only for industries it can be for any entity and c tells that carbon emissions released by burning of jet fuel it is not only confined to the jet fuel any emissions any carbon dioxide emissions and fourth option is also not true because it is confined only to the felling of trees so the answer here is option a question 41 consider the following statements with regard to atmospheric humidity first absolute humidity is the amount of water vapor per unit volume second hygrometer is used to measure relative humidity third dew point is the temperature at which relative humidity is 75% so we have to select the correct statements first you see is that absolute humidity measures the amount of water vapor per unit volume what is absolute absolute measures the total amount it is not relative so the amount in terms of volume or mass per unit volume of air this gives the absolute measurement so the first statement is correct second statement tells that hygrometer right hygrometer is a instrument used to measure humidity especially relative humidity so second statement also correct third statement still that dew point is the point at which relative humidity is 75 percentage what is mean by relative humidity relative humidity measures how much water vapor content in the particular volume of air compared to the saturated air saturated air means 100 percentage relative humidity so 75 percentage relative humidity means it is not fully saturated with water vapor still one fourth is remaining to to become saturated what is dew point dew point is the temperature at which the water vapor in the air started condensing so for this to happen the water vapor should be saturated 
so we have a particular column of air and what are the condition to achieve the dew point usually we will observe during night temperatures will fall and morning we can observe this dew on the leaf or grass this happens because the temperature decreases when temperature decreases unsaturated air tends to saturated right because higher temperature higher the content of water vapor that the air can hold so given a particular volume when the temperature is decreasing the water vapor holding capacity of the air decreases and it is slowly becomes saturated and that point is the dew point so the dew point will be having 100 percentage relative humidity so third option is wrong option is one and two this answer a question 42 Sanitary or municipal fields and waste heaps are unavoidably hazardous due to first leachates, second emanating gas, third rodents and wandering animals, four automobile offshops that seem to have an affinity for such neighborhoods. Which of the above are correct? And we have four options. And from the options, it is clear that only two statements are correct. We are given four statements. One tells about leachates. Second terms about the gases emission. Third about the animals and the rodents. Fourth about the workshops. So these things we can find in any municipal landfill. Landfill is the places where the municipal solid waste will be dumped. And later it will be converted to uh, filled with the soil to convert it to a public place like park or so. And when this land fills are done, the liquid, po liquid portion from this waste will percolate down to the soil and it will reach the groundwater aquifers and the people uh, drinking water from this aquifers will get diseases. That is a common concern about the landfills, municipal landfills. And other than that, gases like methane, hydrogen sulfide, etc. will also escape from the decomposing waste. And these two are like unavoidable. unavoidable. The question tells about unavoidable. So here uh, we know that all three, all, all four can occur in a landfill but what are the unavoidable factors it will be the leaches and gases because animals also, animals and rodents we can control this oxygen concentration also we can control so the option can be one and two this answer b question 43 consider the following statements regarding depletion of the ozone layer First, excessive release of chlorine and bromine in the environment from man-made compounds such as chlorofluorocarbons. Second, occurrence of certain natural phenomena like sunspots and stratospheric winds. Third, degradation of materials by ultraviolet radiation. Four, major volcanic eruptions. Which of the above can be categorized as causing ozone depletion? So, we have to select the statements which are responsible for ozone depletion <coughs> here we are given four statements first it tells that excessive release of chlorine and bromine such as chlorofluorocarbons second natural phenomena like sunspots and stratospheric winds third tells about the degradation of materials by ultraviolet radiation and fourth is about volcanic eruption major volcanic eruptions so well if you don't read the question properly you may go for the third option because with ozone layer depletion ultraviolet radiation will degrade the materials 
If you don't read the last sentence properly, you may try to tick this third. But no, they are specially asking which of the following is related with the depletion of the ozone layer. So third is not the option. So we are remained with 1, 2 and 4. It is option C. Now let us see what is this sunspot and stratospheric winds. Sunspots are solar phenomena which happens once in 11 year cycle. It is like uh, the places of intense magnetic action. Intense magnetic field formed on the sun surface which reverses <coughs> polarity once in 11 years. So many atmospheric phenomena can happen in association with the sunspot. And stratospheric winds are strong winds in the stratosphere. We saw that ozone layer is present in the stratosphere, right? So, these winds can affect the ozone layer and uh, can cause ozone depletion also if they are moving the ozone from the place with these winds. And this chlorine, bromine and chloro for carbons are the main reason for the ozone depletion. These things we have discussed in our article in environmental uh, degradation in our site and ozone layer depletion was uh, dealt as a separate, separate section there you can go through it. And this volcanic eruptions also releases certain gases like nitrous, nitrous oxides which can act as ozone depleting substance. Answer is C. For engineering services, general studies video lectures, visit www.iesgeneralstudies.com. For mechanical engineering video lectures and question and answer discussion, visit www.getmed.com.